In this video, I'm going to be going over some Eskrima stick fighting techniques to help you get started learning Eskrima at home. Specifically, I'm going to be going over the box theory. And if you're thinking, well, I don't have any Eskrima sticks to train with, look around your house, see what you might be able to use. Uh, I've got a few examples here. I've got a butter knife, right? I can use this to practice with. Got myself a wooden spoon, can use that, okay? Um, maybe you have uh, some newspaper or a magazine, roll that up, you can use that as well. And if you don't have anything that you think you can use, then go ahead and just use an empty hand because these techniques can be applied to empty hand and um, contrary to popular belief, Eskrima is an empty handed art. Pretend you're holding a stick, okay? And when it comes to the strikes, just imagine you're holding the stick and you're gonna be striking with the bottom of your fist here. So a number one strike comes over here. Okay, this is a number one, empty hand. Just use your fist, all right? So getting back to the box theory, box has four sides, top, bottom, side, side. You could think of these as Blocks, you could think of these as strikes. I like to think of these as strikes, okay? Uh, roof block, this is commonly referred to as a roof block, okay? But I would consider this, still consider this a strike. So this is the top of the box, side, side, bottom. You might be thinking about your stance. Typically, you want whatever hand the weapon is in is the side that you want. Uh, forward. So in this case, weapons on my right hand, I have my right foot forward. Uh, about shoulder width stance is fine. And always have your other hand engaged because you can strike boom, boom. Even though you don't have a stick in this hand, you can still use it. Now, inside this box, there's four zones. Okay. Looking at the target, it's going to be one, two, three, four. But since you're looking at me and I am your target, right? So if I'm standing here and I'm swinging one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's how it goes. One, two, three, four. Those are your zones. Number one strike, number one zone. Can be here, okay? Here, over the top, kind of angle. Basically, think of all this right here is zone number one. Okay, so one strike. Number two, here. All of this part of the box, the inside of the box. Zone number two, okay, comes over here. Zone number three, it's up. Empty handed, this can be an uppercut, okay, up. Zone, zone three is here, all the way down. All right, and then as you probably guessed, zone number four is all this over here, and that strike is here. Empty hand, here, here. You can also go here, side to side, right, because this is still in the zone. It doesn't necessarily always have to be up, all right? So those are the four strikes, four zones. One, two, three, four. Number five is gonna be right down the middle. Empty hand would just be your regular punch, right? You can do this here from the top of the box, right? This is roof block. It's also a very, very powerful shot, right? Empty hand, just like that, okay? So box, four zones, four sides to the box, four zones, one, two, three, four, Five is a stab. Stab doesn't necessarily always have to go straight down. You can come here, 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 right? Play around, practice. If you have any questions, let me know. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Click on that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and you'll get notified of future videos as they come out. And if you'd like to continue on with some Eskrima lessons, go ahead and check out one of these videos here. And I will see you over there.